Today's video is going to be on five ways to market your business. Let's get into it. Number one, get rid of the business cards. Business cards are nice to have, but let's face it, they are outdated. I have business cards, but honestly, when I receive business cards from other businesses, I don't tend to use them. And so that tells me that they're really not that useful anymore. Most of the time when I'm checking out a business or anything for that matter, I'm going to Google or I'm getting on my cell phone to see if that business has a YouTube channel, an Instagram page, a TikTok or a tweet. I am looking for business information on the internet. On social media, the way to get your business out there is by being a likable and relatable presence to your audience. So things like reels, shorts, YouTube posts, these are ways for you to put your personality and information about your business out to the public so that they can see what your business has to offer and if they are a good fit for you and if you're a good fit for them. Business cards are nice to have, but they're just not as effective as social media. So let's stop wasting the money and get rid of the business cards. Number two, follow and engage with other people in your industry. Here's what I mean by that. That was a fancy way of saying network. Networking is still in and will forever be a way to market your business. The way that you can network on social media is by joining Facebook groups, by following people in your industry on their Instagram pages, by joining YouTube pages, by commenting on their posts, in essence, making yourself known to other people that are in your industry about your business. Networking puts you in the game. Engaging with other people in your industry is the way to go. Number three, unprivate your social media pages. You guys, this was a big one for me. When I first started out on social media, my pages were private. Well, my personal pages were private. However, I quickly realized that in order to put myself out there, I needed to unprivate my pages. As a photographer, the business that I run is a personal service. So it makes sense that people want to get to know me as a person before supporting or coming to my business. It was important for me to unprivate my pages so that people could see who I am and what they're getting when they get to their sessions. This one can be a little tricky because you do want to have your own page personal. And in this instance, you can always create a second personal page that you give out to only friends and family. But if your business is a business that is a personal service, you definitely want to unprivate your social media pages. Number four, talk about your business. If you run your business part-time or even full-time, but it is something that is in addition to a full-time position that you are working, it's very easy to tell people that you are the career of that other full-time position. For example, you're out and you meet someone new and they ask, what is it that you do? And you tell them what you do for your full-time day job, but you don't mention what it is that you do for your business. If your business is something that you are passionate for and that you ultimately may want to take it full time, start telling people about what you do for your business. I have a personal example of when this happened to me. I was out at the store, my daughter was with me, and they have these people that are there trying to sell you things, trying to get you to switch your light bill, your gas bill, trying to sell you a new phone plan. Well, this happened to me. A lady was asking me what it was that I did for a living, and I told her what it was that I did for my full-time day job. My daughter, who was standing next to me, said, no, she's a photographer. And I got a good tickle out of that because in that moment, she was teaching me a lesson about promoting my business. Just like this lady was promoting her business, what she was trying to sell to me in the store, I could have promoted my business to her. And in essence, I ended up doing that because my child told her that I was a photographer. And we ended up getting in this big conversation about what I do, how I do it. And we ended up getting into conversation about my business. 
It may not be something that you are in the habit of doing, but try to start talking to people more about your business. It's a great marketing strategy and it costs zero dollars. And number five, post updates. As business owners, it can be easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day work of our business. However, we have to remember that we are responsible for posting updates to our clients about our services. So there may be gaps in when we don't post on our websites or we don't post on social media, but our clients need to know, hey, we're still here and operating. So one of the best ways to market ourselves is by posting updates about what is going on in our business. You may even have new services that you are providing that your customers do not know about because you have not posted new updates. So it's very important to make sure that your website is updated, your social media is updated, and that you are consistently letting your audience know what's going on with your business. So you're the best if you made it to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what are some ways that you market your business and if you can relate to some of the things mentioned in this video. It's easy to constantly work, 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 but we have to take the time to consistently market our businesses. It's the way to longevity and prosperity. And until next time, peace.